mistakes were made. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here then hi, hello, welcome, my name's Casey and today we have a Poundland haul. So, first thing I want to show you is this super cute bag. How adorable is that? And now of course that's one of the one pound reusable bag. It is adorable. They had that one, a pink one with cats, and a pink one with dogs, and it was just so cute, so I had to buy it. And on the little subject of cute, look at my little succulent been a bit damaged in the bag so I've got some soil to kind of put back in him but he is a pound so if you watched my last haul I got Boris a cactus and now I've got the little succulent I don't know what to call him but he is cute he's so soft it's very random there's some stuff new in for March 2021 and there's some stuff that I just pick up while I'm there, they're not new, kind of new, they're a bit of everything. <laughs> but what I did pick up from the Mother's Day section is some smooth coffee, coffee scrub. I love coffee scrub. The first time I had one was when I was in Turkey on holiday. And then I got some in some subscription boxes of mine. And then I got one from Soap and Glory as a gift set that I got for Christmas. And now I've got one from Powerland. I absolutely love coffee scrubs I'm obsessed they just they feel amazing they smell amazing if you don't like coffee then they probably don't smell amazing but <laughs> I love them so this I picked this up and also whilst I was in Poundland I picked up these because I love these these are the Hartley's no added sugar jellies I absolutely love them for snacks or desserts but in Asda and Tesco and everywhere they're like four pound but these are two pound and I was like well obviously I'd rather buy them for two pounds rather than four pounds. So I picked them up while I was there. And I picked up this plate. So I did my whole um, Easter haul from Poundland. If you haven't watched that, I will pop that in the description box below for you. I didn't have these little plates when I did my last haul and I was really sad about it. So this time they had them in and I managed to pick this one up. They did have the carrot as well, but I did think to myself, well, what would I actually do with this carrot? What would I use said carrot for? And then I thought, well, I don't know. So I didn't pick it up, but this one's gonna be cute for like biscuits or cake or sandwiches. So I picked up this one because I do really like it. I think if you had a rabbit as well, how adorable would this be? Are they allowed ceramics? I don't know, but if they are, this would be cute for a rabbit. <laughs> so my husband picked up this. It's just a Maltesers Teasers chocolate bar. I'm obsessed with Maltesers teasers. In the celebrations, they are the first ones to go in my belly. And then I picked this up. If you've not had this, have it. It's amazing. It's so nice. Like, honestly, it's unreal. Unreal. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. Honestly, obsessed with this chocolate bar. Oh, I love it so much. And then I picked up some Pop-Tarts. So this is a new one for us. I've had Pop-Tarts before and I love them. But and Jack's never had them and he keeps looking at them thinking, well, I don't know if I'd like them. I'm just like, Jack, well, you're not gonna know if you don't like them, if you don't try them. <laughs> so I told Jack to pick up these ones. They did have the birthday cake as well, but I knew full well he wouldn't like the birthday cake ones. So we just got the fr Frosted Choptastics and I'm excited to try them and see what Jack thinks of them too. Obviously I picked up an Easter egg. <laughs> Jack loves an Easter egg at this time of year and I'm always picking one up for him, so. And then I picked up some hair dye, so I am going with my natural kind of brunette at the minute. And this is the Swatchcott Poly Color Permanent Cream Color Tint. And it has 100% gray coverage and that's what I need. I've got grays up here, grays round here. So I need 100% grey coverage. <laughs> but I actually really like the Powerland hair dye. I think it's really good. I've always used the black and it's always covered my grey hairs. And it's always quite, it's always lasted really well. So I can only assume the brown's just as good. But here it is. And then I picked up the Black Dusk Perfume. So happy with this. I do believe it's the Black Opium Dew. 
do correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe this is the Black Opium Dupe one. I have all of them now, and they are just really good to like to spritz on before I go out, or, and I like it. I think it's good for a pound. It doesn't last forever, but I think it's really good for a pound just to keep using it throughout the day. Then I picked up these, so they did come as a set of three. <laughs> in a pack it's the pep and co pack of three candles but i got them home and i was like i just really want to smell them so i took them out of the packet and i thought to myself i'll just give them a sniff then put them back in the packet to show you but i ripped the packet so i couldn't put it back in <laughs> but this is the citrus and patchouli it smells really nice they are very subtle smells but that one smells more of patchouli and then you have blackcurrant and rhubarb and coconut and vanilla the blackcurrant and rhubarb definitely has more of a blackcurranty smell and the coconut and vanilla is more coconutty but again they're really really subtle smell so i'll have to see what they're like burnt and see what kind of throw they give off but again they are more subtle than other candles i've had i got more food i forgot about more food <laughs> So the two for a pound Pringles, I, I always grab these little snack ones. So we have the original and sour cream and chive. The two best flavours, I won't hear any different. Not on this channel. Not having it, not here. They are the two best flavours. Then I picked up all these. So I've had the pillow spray before and it's amazing. It's The lavender scent is just stunning really lovely not too overpowering but not too subtle just right and i absolutely love it i spray it on my pillow all the time and i needed to get a new one so i did but whilst i was there i saw all these so i've not seen these ones before so we have the shower gel relaxing and calming lavender i can't remember if i've had this before but i don't think i have i think i had the i've got the bath stuff so i have the bath salts and the kind of bath cube i've had those before but i haven't had this one before and these are new i believe i haven't seen these before so i have the clay face mask the body butter and another body butter so i've realized what i've done i made a mistake i believe there was a body scrub as well and i must have wanted to pick that up but picked up another body butter instead mistakes were made but i really want to give this a sniff so i'm going to have a go so they come with a nice secure film on the top that's what it looks like in and this is the face mask oh, it smells so good so it's a nice thick face mask it smells stunning i'm really looking forward to using this and the body butter comes with a nice film on the top as well and here it is i like the little swirl that is really satisfying to look at smells amazing they all smell exactly the same. None are any weaker than the others, so I'm very happy. I'm gonna just surround myself in relaxing, calm lavender, and it's gonna be just my relaxing bubble. My lavender bubble. Then, as in spring is around the corner, and I'm so happy, we have the plants. So I am doing some gardening. The vlogs will be coming the end of March, beginning of April. So I'm dismantling a shed, I'm doing all my things. That's why I haven't got any pretty nails on because it's pointless. <laughs> so all those vlogs will be coming if anyone's interested in watching some garden vlog but we have some 15 lucky crover iron cross and that's what it comes and the bag there and it tells you when to plant them how to plant them etc but those will be going in the little garden beds that i have and then i have some petunias again it tells you how to bed them etc but i am very excited i'm not really sure if i want to put these in the little garden beds that i have or if i want to put this in my hanging baskets i don't know yet let me know tell me in the comments down below what i should do help me i'm indecisive <laughs> i have those as well and then i was super happy to find these so these are butterfly and bee shake and rake wild wildlife garden seed shaker and it's just shake rake and water but where my shed is at the minute i'm obviously getting rid of that old shed it's a really old shed it was here when i moved in and it's battered and the bad weather that we had like last year the, the roofs caved in and everything terrible i'm gonna make a little corner there 
full of wildflowers for all the butterflies and the bees. So yeah, I'm really happy that I found this. But that is everything that I got. So some things are new in for March 2021. I'm not really sure that everything's out at the minute at my local Poundland. So I will be going back probably in the next week or so to find more new stuff for my garden, etc. But I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a huge thumbs up. It really does support my channel. And if you are new here and would like to see more of my face, then please do subscribe. It'd be great to have you here. I am on the road to 1K, which is a blessing. So it'd be great to have you to join me. But apart from that, take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next one. Bye.